Hey guys, Militia1 here, and today I'm going to test a theory that I saw online. Now, the founder of Mom's Demand Action said that assault weapons can fire 10 rounds in a minute. Now, this was years ago, so, however, that got me thinking how many rounds could I fire out of this little 22 bolt action in under a minute? Because I've been shooting this since. Well, this was my first rifle, and I've been shooting since, like, before I was seven. So, I've been shooting this forever, and I wanted to see how quick I can get with this little 22. So, basically, what we're going to be doing today is shooting far off into the distance out there at that white piece of paper. And I'm going to see how many rounds you can fire out of this little 22 within a minute without, like, being a pro shooter. Now I am going to be wearing a little bit of ear protection. Um, I've never worn ear protection while shooting this, but I haven't shot guns for a while without ear protection. So I'm worried that it is going to be a little too much of a spike for my ears. Plus this has a fairly short barrel to all our other 22 rifles. And I am in a golf cart, so the sound's going to be all around me. Okay, so I'm going to press the button and then start. And we have an issue. Okay, let's try this again. I have no how many, no idea how many that was. Let's go uh, check the target. Now keep in mind, this is like 75 yards away with a 22 that was malfunctioning and stuff and um i was going for speed and that's why you don't go for speed because i didn't hit the target once <laughs> but also this makes a good point about firearms and that is the myth that the faster it is the more dangerous it is because even if you have a fully automatic rifle if you're not using it properly or trained to use it you might not hit the broadside of a barn basically what i'm saying is you have to be trained with whatever firearm you're using because if you just go all crazy and try to hit things as fast as possible, you're probably going to miss every target. But that's not what we're trying to figure out now. We're trying to figure out how fast I can shoot this thing while attempting to point at a target. Like this is all disregard of actually having to hit the target. So when you like run courses and stuff, this isn't even the equivalent of me doing that because in those you actually have to hit what you're shooting at. Anyways, I'm going to do this again since I sort of got warmed up and the rifle's actually working now. That last round was me try, trying to get off on the last second. I don't know why the gun keeps having like a failure to fire or whatever that would be called. Because I've had that gun for over t a decade and um, I know some guns are 100 years old. Well, some guns are older than that, but you know. Um, and we have like a 1940s Mosin that got and stuff, but that wasn't my point. My point is I've had that gun for a decade and it's never malfunctioned and now it's malfunctioning. I blame you. Okay, maybe I just needed to get warmed up because that was probably quicker and I hit the target three times. I mean, the grouping is like eight inches apart, but whatever. Man, now I know how Donald Trump feels. Looking into the light is like blinding. No, get those lights off, off! So 
I just looked back through the footage and noticed that I only could shoot nine rounds through the gun within a minute. Now I feel like I did have some hiccups and at the end I was trying harder because that's when I panicked so maybe I should just not care at all about accuracy and shoot the dang thing as fast as possible. So that's what I'm going to do and we're going to make sure that before that sun goes down my very first rifle is declared an assault weapon by the overprotective mothers of America or whatever that group is called. As you can tell I'm not here wearing hearing protection because I shot a little bit afterwards and it wasn't that bad. So what would be best to do this would have like a table with a bucket um, full of 22s in it because I've just been reaching into this and this is really difficult because you have to get your hand past the cardboard. You know the cardboard lid that keeps closing. I have no idea what was in there. See, this is why you can't shoot fast with a 22. They just roll all around. While you're trying to chamber around. I don't know how many rounds that was. <laughs> so join me next week when I try to prove that a common rifle would probably be just effective as in the hands of a criminal as what people call an assault weapon. Because I believe the benefits of a semi-automatic weapon are only really effective if you've trained with that weapon. Whatever, just stay tuned till next weekend and you'll see.